everyone! Welcome na po sa atong video tutorial in mathematics. By the way, thank you guys sa mga nag-like sa akong first video. And sa mga nag-subscribe sa akong YouTube channel, thank you kayo ninyo. And sa kato wala pa ka-subscribe, uh, subscribe na mo. Shoutout daw ko sa kamigo, Sir Jerwin Singo. Sir, daray mo request. Shoutout daw. In this video, our, our lesson is all about factoring polynomials in a form difference of two squares. So when we say difference of two squares, na ay na ay duha ka square nga atong di subtract, kay difference man that talks about subtraction operation. Atong para ma-visualize, so example number 1 ta. We have example number 1, difference of two squares, so natay square, natay duha ka square, and then ato siya gi subtract. So Example of a difference of two squares, two squares is x squared minus y squared. So, muna siya ang forma sa polynomial in a form difference of two squares. So, ato sa ilista tanan, ang atong mga ansiranan, before ta mo proceed sa factoring or sa iyong factored form. So, number two, we have y squared minus 49. So, y squared is square. 49 is also a square because we can express this one as 7 square. 7 times 7, 49. Alright, number 3. Number 3, we have 16 x squared minus 1. 16 is a square, that is 4 square, and 1 is also a square, that is 1 times 1, that is 1 square. 1 square. Number 4. We have 81 y squared minus 25. 81 is 9 squared and 25 is 5 squared. So, number 5, we have x raised to 4 minus y raised to 4. You know, but huh? difference of two squares then as young, 4 lagi ang exponent. Yeah, remember, we did not try express as a square of an expression. So, ito na i-discuss unya kung kung sa unay pag kung sa unay pag answer ang number 5 or kung saan yung anong appeal niya sa difference of two squares. Alright, let's proceed to the factoring. The yung process sa pag-factor. So, by definition, the factored form of a polynomial in a form difference of two squares is the sum and difference of the square roots of the first and last term. So, difference, uh, sum and difference daw siya. When we say, when we say sum and difference, subot pa sabot na as yay duha nga factors. So, butang na ng parenthesis. Duha ka pair sa parenthesis. And then, sum and difference man daw, so na as yay plus and minus. So, muna siya, muna siya possible nga puro sa yung factored form. So, nakabot under sa definition, sum and difference of the square roots of the first and last term. So, atalong ko na i-square root ang first term o ang last term, ato ibutang diri. Ang ato ibutang diri nga part. So, I try. Square root sa x squared is x. Square root sa y squared is y. So, same ra gyapon sa second factor, you have x and y. Okay, kung naan na simple pag-factor kung difference of two squares siya. Yeah. Muna yung condition. So, dili, pwede i-apply kaninga trend or kaninga pattern if dili siya difference of two squares. So, saan ito pagkaibaw nga? Atong answer is sakto. So, atong buha ito is ato ra siya i-multiply. Kaninga doon nga factors, ito multiply dapat mubalik siya sa original ma expression which is x squared minus y squared. So, pag multiply we're going to use distributive property. Or, in this case, kay binomial man siya, product of binomial, so, ato lang i- ato lang i-apply ang FUEL method. So, recall ang FUEL method. FUEL. We have F-O-I-L. F for first, first terms. So, first terms, we have X. X and X. Uh, una. We have the outer that is x and y. Adol sa gawas. And then we have i for inner. 
si y ug si x na sa sulod. And then we have last y and y. Pareha sila mga last term. Muna siya ang muna siya ang ang definition sa fuel. So fuel method. With the distributive property, imo siya i multiply kada term. Uh, pero para sa yun, fuel method ta. So let's start with the first term. So we have x times x that is x squared. Next, we have the outer x times y that is x times negative y. So you have positive times negative that is negative and you have x x y. Next, we have positive y times positive x or you have positive x times positive y. So you have positive x y. And then, the last term, you have positive y times negative y, that is negative y squared. Yun nung tanga. Lagi, lagi siya parehas. Lagi, wala siya ni balik siya yung original niya, original niya expression. So, wala pa. Wala pa tanah human. Ito pa na i-simplify. So, si observe na ay, si observe, ako na siya, part. We have red, para maklaro. Ano siya nga part? You have negative negative xy you have positive xy. So, may tabuan na makancel out na siya. Kaya ilang result, may muna siya i-combine, mahi mo siya nga zero. So, this will be cancelled out. Kaling apart, makancelled out na siya. Your answer will be x squared minus y squared. Oh, nibalik na sa iyong original expression. Therefore, ang atong factor form is correct. So, our factor form is x plus y, and we have x minus y. So, that's our factor form in example number one. Okay, number two, we have y squared minus 49. So, y squared minus 49, mo gihapon, makimutag dwa ka pair of parentheses. And then, always na siya positive o negative. Dili pwede nga positive tanan, di pwede nga negative tanan. Always na siya positive o negative. Or pwede na po negative o positive, masing ganahan mo. Basta, opposite lang ang signs, di lang parehas. May sum and difference man. Okay. Square root sa y squared is y. Nari, y po. Square root sa 49. Remember, 49 is 7 squared. So, ang yung square root is 7. So, we have 7. Second term is also 7. Okay, if you're going to check if your answer is correct, you can use the full method or you can apply the multiplication operation by distributive property. Okay, it's the factor form for example number 2. That is y plus 7 and y minus 7. Okay, let's proceed to number 3. We have 16x squared minus 1. Walang anaman naman, kipasig maghuot na nung ah. So, at rong anaman naman, we have, katag saon, we have 16. Square root sa 16 is 4. Square root sa x squared is x. And then, plus, permi mo una, plus. Square root sa 1 kay 1. Ano na kasa yun? Square root sa 1 is 1. Ang second factor is, walang kopya hon, 4x. At this time, minus na siya. At least minus 1. So, you have 4x plus 1 and 4x minus 1. That will be the factor of the example number 3. Okay, number 4. We have square root sa 81 is 9. Square root sa y squared is y. And then, plus na siya. Square root sa 25 is 5. And then, for the second factor, you have 9y minus na. So, minus 5. Okay. So, that will be the factor form for number 4. Example number 4. Okay, number 5. Nga rita kay Murag. Complicated gamay. Pero, sayang nagod to. So, x raised to 4 minus y raised to 4. Remember, si x raised to 4, pwede siya ma-express as a square of a number or square of an expression. So, x raised to 4, pwede siya ma-rewrite as x squared raised to 2. My love exponent, that is 2 times 2, and that is 4. So, that is x raised to 4. 
si y raised to 4 pod, pwede na siya i-rewrite as squared raised to raised to 2. And then, pwede na ito siya ma-suat. Pwede na ito i-express ang factored form. So, ang square root sa first term is x squared. Okay, kanina may makancel out, delete na lang kanan. Kanang usa lang sa gawas. Kanina may makancel out, ang 2 sa gawas, kanina siya, ang mahabilin is x squared pa muna ang iyang ang iyang square root. So, x squared. And then, plus, so, dapat ni Ray is, this is y squared. And then, wala pa tanahong man, we have ang um, subtraction niya part. So, we have x squared minus y squared. Okay. Mula siya ko na yung factor form, you have x squared plus y squared, and you have x squared minus y squared. But remember, this x squared minus y squared, pwede pa na siya ma, pwede pa siya ma-factor. O, atong tanawon ang example number 1, di ba? Na-factor pa na to ang x squared minus y squared. So, atong buha ito, ato lang siya i-factor. Dapat ato siya i-factor completely. So, i-write lang ni mo ang ang x squared plus y squared. Kaya di mo na siya ma-factor. And then, you're going to factor x squared minus y squared. I-mo lang kopya ko na example number 1. That is x plus y. And then, x minus y. Okay. So, mo na siya ka ron ang factored form ni x raised to 4 minus y raised to 4. That is, x squared plus y squared. Second factor is x plus y. And the third factor is x minus y. So, medyo complicated ang example number 5. Okay, thank you for watching this video. So, kung wala pa mo nakasubscribe, so subscribe mo para updated mo sa, sa next nga mga videos. Don't forget to click the notification bell. And then, thank you kayo. In the next topic, we're going to discuss factoring a perfect square trinomial. So, stay tuned lang and God bless.